back at it again with more content. This way, Miss Nilu. After you. So what, Miss oh, Navia and Miss Nilu are having a conversation. It's about. fine. I don't mind not riding the Aerial Express. Call it the Astral oh, Express. What is it? Are you scared of heights? Huh? Uh, no, it's not that. It's just. Uh... Then you'll be fine. No, she if won't. you feel scared, just hold on to my hand. And if you feel really scared, hold on to both of them. You're never gonna see something like this again. Why not just go for it? Live in the moment. Have some fun. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. Big circle and exhale. All right, I'm ready. Oh, Neela's Let's a member go. of the Astral Express now. All right. Any other hidden dialogue in this right there? Can we take a ride on this thing? Oh, we can. Okay. That's cool. No, because Kirara is not with us, and the rest of the people who are going to be talking are the uh, blocking. Oh, Which time do I have to do all these damn quests? Ooh, I need to do that. Jesus. That's right, you find other items. Hmm, okay. You need to collect them, all these to get this key rabbit rose off it. Anywho. Book learning. Alright, if you hold it, it would do a full I did not know the thing. If you held it, it would do the time cycle swipe. Yeah, there is, yeah. Hold it. Hold it. I guess I just got lucky with that. Lucky the bug. Is not enough to cultivate intelligence. The time has come to slay the dragon. How are you feeling? Nervous? Probably be nervous about killing the dragon. I'm once curious to see what this end of the world place is like. Come on, let's go meet the others at the station. That, uh, that's Jesus. Okay. I was gonna say, but in no fucking way, it's gonna pop us like that. I'll probably stream myself doing all the other side quests and whatnot. That's always fun. That's how I should be. Main quest is recorded, side quest, other content is live stream. Yeah. Well, it used to be that I would be live stream record both, but this that wasn't feasible. So many games have so many different hard drives, and there are less than 75 minutes, and I actually made it difficult. Now, you've seen a couple of my live streams, if you've seen me live, where the shit just crashes out. Carriage inspection, check. Wheel and axle inspection, check. Power inspection, check. Everything good morning, be Mr. Wheel. Oh, good morning, heroes of Simulanka. Hey, our old friend Wheel is the driver again. <sighs> we'll the train. Puts time on at ease. Are you certain you don't want us to accompany you, Your Majesty? Oh, we I got am. This. You got the hero. You can leave the dragon slang to us. My partner's a pro. He does it all the time. Yeah, we only fought like two or three, bro. We killed like... We fought one monster. We fought a whale in Fontaine. We kind of knocked out a worm creature in Sumer. Inazuma. No dragons there. What remarkable friends Her Majesty has. With such great heroes by your side, I'm sure you'll best the dragon with ease. Yeah, right. We won't keep you any longer. All right, then. Look after the city for me while I'm gone. Yes, your majesty. Just leave it to us. I think we're all set. Time to depart. Let's see what third race of beings <laughs> is out here. Next stop, the end of the world! Ah, oh, 
<laughs> Next stop, the end of the world. To the end of the world, huh? Let's hop on the next train. Who we sit next to? Let, let's go. I think there's a merry band of characters to go right out onto the sea line with. <laughs> so this is what it feels like to ride a toy train. We're running a flying You're really easy to please, Navia. When did you go yell the choo choo? Ooh. Oh, clouds have faded. Looks like the fog ahead is getting thicker. Hey, bro, this place don't look so happy. Attention, passengers! We've arrived at the transfer point. All change, please, all change. So we've got to switch trains, right? Huh? What's that? Hit the Charles. Hilly Charles, they've taken over that platform. So there's a bitch has already got huh? them taken over this platform. What do we do? Lovely. Just find somewhere to hide, Mr. Wheel. We'll take care of them. Yeah, we're a pro at fucking up the locals. It's our great day special. Everyone hold in. By royal decree, get with me. Here you are. Oh. Come on. Our combo went off, you motherfucker. You're putting water right underneath the goddamn train. Yoink! Yeah! Yeah! You assholes. Wings of darkness! Come, sever the. Ha! Nice try, Dicky. That's all of them. Yep. Thank you so much for your help, everyone. Now, let me take a look at the train. Hmm. The carriage is a little scratched up, but there doesn't seem to be any real damage. And the engine's still operating normally, so... I think we're good to go. Some new wood shavings and a cut of paint will fix that. Let's keep going then. Let's roll. Two train station stops. <laughs> What hellish hellscape are we going deeper into? I guess we just got tossed straight into the fucking void. Also, isn't that crack? Go background? forth and witness this world, my. Make sure to be nice to everyone. Okay. I leave it to you. That cracked in the uh, left. Are you okay, Miss Nilu? I'm fine. But I think the traveler is still unconscious. Damn, bro, what the fuck are we doing? Lucky in? this guy caught us on the way down. <laughs> ah, not this gay dude. Passed out from a little fall, did ya? How fragile. I like how his voice is kind of soft there with that. That's not really like that. Cut him some slack. The traveler's had a rough few days. We should just let him nap for a bit. No. Uh, I don't think we should. My, my leg's falling asleep. You couldn't have set him down on the grass over there, hat guy? No, neither <laughs> hat lap fellow. Let's go. I go out of my way to save four people who fall out of the sky, and now you're nitpicking my choice of soft landing? That's the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard. <clears throat> this entire situation's kind of ridiculous there, fucking Skaramouche. Wanderer. Ah, he's awake! Kazuki. Morning, sunshine. You were having a nice little dream there, weren't you? Not gonna lie, 
It was kind of adorable. Yeah, bro, leave that, leave that shit in the dreamland, bro. You would not bring that attitude to reality. You and your friends fell from the top of that waterfall, and you passed out along the way. Guess someone couldn't keep it together. Sorry to break it to you, but crashing into the ground doesn't take you to another world. That kind of thing only happens in those stupid light novels they sell in Inazuma. Ain't we inside a book right now? Also, he kind of, uh, set you down in Nilu's lap, so that's where you've been napping all this time. Hey, bro, ain't nothing wrong Hi, with that. Hey, bro, finally we got the Nilu girlfriend art, bro. Arc. People are like, oh my god, she's the waifu of Sumeru, and not a single damn thing was teased at that. At least they're doing it now. Oh, no. It's all right. I, I'm just glad you're okay. You didn't hit your head, did you? Is the dizziness gone? As soon as someone was blowing my damn brains out, another voice inside my head. I love when they do that. Really? What did they say? Go forth and witness this world and be nice to everyone. The fog you see around here can have a hallucinatory effect. How do you know all Apparently, this? Apparently, you been the entire time? It's the work of that dragon. Maybe you inhaled some while you were freaking out on your way down. How the hell did you get in here? A traveler, Nilu. Do you know this hat guy person? Oh yeah, he's a student at the academia. We met during the last Interdarshan Championship. He was representing the Vahumana Darshan. Well then. Hello there, friend. I'm Navia, the president of Spina di Rosula. It's very nice to meet you. So, should I just call you Hat Guy as well? Seems like that's what everyone's calling you. Sure. Whatever. Nice, oh, Wait, <laughs> Hat Guy? What's that sword around your waist? Damn, bro, he got a blade. He's an unwelcome encumbrance, that's what. I've had it ever since I woke up here. Tried to toss it. But no matter what I do, it always reappears. Such a pain. Anyway, if any of you want the hero sword, you can have it. Wait, it's called what? The hero's blade, bro. The hero's yeah, sword. Nari blade. Meant to be wielded by the hero. I know. Me of all people, right? The irony. What? You're the hero? Will you calm down? It's just a dumb title. Oh, uh, it's just that this entire time, we thought we were the heroes of the prophecy. Damn, bro. Narcissism number one. <sighs> well, if it means that much to you, you're welcome to claim the title. You'd be doing me a favor. Sorry, bro, you're written as the hero. Can't claim it. That's not the point! The real question is, if you're the hero, then where the heck have you been? Not doing his hero shit, that's for sure. Looking for a way out. I heard there's a boat in this area that can bring you to another world. So I came to investigate. But look at the state of things around here. Yeah. The lighthouse collapsed. The boat won't budge. <sighs> I say we try to find a different way out. A different way out? Where's Ito so he can punch a hole through reality? Huh. A voice told you what you were supposed to do here? That's what happened with Navi and Nilu, at least. Watch him say no because he's like a puppet. <laughs> you expect me to take orders from some disembodied voice? Yeah, isn't that what you did to the people hey, of Inazuma? Wait, where are you going? Inazuma. In the people of to Sumeru? find the so called source of this world's misfortune. The dragon responsible for this whole mess. Wait. We came here to fight the dragon as well. Why don't we go together? Good, uh, good uh, thumbnail material. <sighs> Grab that dragon scale over there before you leave. It'll come in handy later. Uh, a dragon scale? Where? How did you know about it? What's it for? And uh, are you stupid? Have you ever the considered keeping your questions to yourself? Because if you actually expect me to answer them all, We'll be here until the next Interdarshan Championship. Damn, second time we told us to just pop the fuck down. Paimon thought you might have learned some manners by now, but clearly not! So I thought you would have learned to shut the hell up, little freak. 
New gameplay. Good god. Dragon Skin. Let's drop down to lower level. Oh, there are people here. I'm taking your apple a little bit. Giant blocks with them. That's all like elasticity. E elasticity. Fuck it. Landing on the jumping on the elastic surface while you get the hardness. Bouncy block. Uh, what exactly are the dragons do? And before I was up there, I just walked away from it like that ape. <laughs> Not that. <laughs> toy bombs can be interacted with pressing and picking them up. That's the bomb on toy. Toytanium blocks, huh? Toytanium. Wow. Very tall ant boat. We're gonna get C4 and fucking uh, Notland. That's confirmed. C4 and Notland. <laughs> I hope you know it. Well, let me get Space Engineer fucking style. Space Engineers? No, let me get. What the fuck is it? Elite Dangerous it Charge what? Mining. Wow, Class this mining. scale is amazing! It turns everything it touches into something hard, almost like a toy block! It doesn't seem to work on us, though. Oh, bro. It spews Viagra out scale, not and real. transmutes everything it touches. Huh. No wonder they call it the evil dragon. Your Majesty, Madam, very brave hero. That's you, bro. What are you looking at me for? He's obviously talking to you. Mr. Wheel, you didn't get hurt when we fell, did you? Oh, not at all. Thankfully, the young man in the hat was kind enough to lend me a hand. What the fuck did you save everyone? <laughs> that damn there seems get you to be a village over now, here. Huh? Some of the residents used to work in the titanium mines, and some came to fight the dragon, then got stuck here. I see. I'm glad they're all safe and sound. I can try to use my magic to fold a boat to bring everyone back. Oh, I'll help too. Still, I think we need to take care of the dragon first. We don't want it to start causing trouble when we're trying to load people onto the ship. Apparently, yeah. the villagers often see the dragon fly into a space behind the waterfall. Uh, they think that's the location of its lair. Evil dragon well, hidden behind the lair in the try waterfall? To find a way in. Not a bad spot. I'll wait here for your triumphant return. Your majesty, brave heroes, please be careful. Yo, well, I like waterfall ass layers are usually good when the waterfall isn't touching the rocks. Because if it is touching the rocks, you're gonna get wet. That'd be fun. Because there's no space gap for you to walk behind. You feel me? You good, bro? How long have you been standing here for a bird to build a nest on your head? What in the Jenga blocks? I can't use a short character to walk in. Oh my god, you can! Curiosity deserves a reward. How would you, uh, if you don't have a small character, how do you get it? Like, actually, did you get a free small character? Ah, oh, you can go to the top. Protect the village. What do you see, Lieutenant? Yeah, that looks like where you enter the Ooga Boonga lair, whatever the fuck it's called. Neo Bunga? What am I saying? You do the pages quest with the melazines, and you have to get all the pages in the book and you enter the hidden realm with Nerthe Cruz. Nerthe Cruz, whatever the fuck it's called. That looks like his uh, faded world where he saw the dimension that was destroyed. 
what, what reality would become. Well, I don't want to see that, right? Waterfall. Well, we made it! But with the force of this waterfall, there's no way we're getting through. There's a gap on the side. Quick. Of the Take out the dragon scale. You can harden the waterfall. Wait, but... No. Hmm. Paimon doesn't need to ask you anything. Um, the dragon scale can... Yeah, we got See? it. Paimon can figure yeah, this out. Yeah, we got it. Got it. That's gotta destroy it. Well, actually, never mind. There's more water behind it. I'll just say, if you knock the entire waterfall, it's a theological disaster for this zone. Looks like they sealed the wall there. Charge set, ready to detonate. I guess they're shaped charges, they don't need to be that strong. Hey, Amber, did you find a toy that matches her? If you find toy matches that are missing matches, you can use a red toy to block to replace them. That's pyro, you can light. Fuck my dick. Come on, grab it. Oh my worker, we got you. The music here? Companions. Reminds me of something. There you go, bro. I've been waiting for you good. You're good. Oh, thank you. I wonder who this gift could be from. God. I do like that early cutscene. I do like that kind of like <laughs> cutscenes and the art pieces. What's it's not my like meal? Cutscene at the end of quest. Oh, nothing. It's just... I sensed a very powerful magical signature just now. Of course. Huh. Guess this is the dragon's lair after all. Let's get her hat back. Huh? When did you put your hat on? Yeah, what is your... Well, we're getting ready to fight, aren't we? I feel more comfortable in my regular outfit. Hat guy also put away that sword around his waist. Oh, should have never had to use this thing to begin with. Do... Do you need to do anything to prepare, Traveler? Paimon's getting kind of nervous seeing everyone else serious like this. Or perhaps I could eat some food. Of course. We should be fully prepared. Interesting. Actual, like, save before my combat checkpoint type thing? I've never seen that before. Sure, bro. The game's off, right? I haven't... Oh, man. I haven't, like, actually... What's something we can eat? It's been a year. I don't have like an attempt this attempt that temptation. I do. Ah, uh, well. Of course. We should. Did we talk to all of them to get it? Or does a unique dialect for all of them? Ah, uh, well. Let's go. Time to kill us a dragon. That's the first time the game's ever like offered an actual like stop point. It probably isn't. Yeah. Oh, that's why. Let's try. Okay. Yeah. Oh, I love when they do this. This buku oh, ass team. Looks like we're not the first ones to make it in here. Wait, hold on. Let's fight the dragon together. Oh, they're finna die. Uh, they're already gone. Let's try to catch up. That's new. Fucking very. Ooh, what's that sound? Is it an earthquake? Earthquake. Uh, where'd they go? Uh, reckless idiots. They probably died to that. Oh, that was a. Uh, oh, what are those from? Those capsules. Those are from Sumeru, the desert. What 
are we attacking? Guess it turns into a bit. Oh. What's wrong with this game, bro? Oh. Do you know, it's the second, it's not as bad, but it's almost as bad as the uh, other summer event. The other summer event where officials like puzzles were awkwardly angled. Yeah. Is so bunk. Like I know how all the characters work, but what the fuck is this team? Oh, thank you. Nice work. Thank you, miner. This is almost as cool as, not as cool, but like the power of friendship official team with official Kazuha, Jinya. How? Huh? It's Mona. Yeah, Mona. And I was like, bro, that one was just power of friendship. At least this is like the fucking. So, what do we have? I guess like our mage cleric, warrior, and like fighter. What would he. Like, what is our team actually? I guess he's a rogue, technically. Huh. This space is completely empty. I'm on bet this is where the dragon sleeps. No shit. Watch out in front. It's coming. Huh? It's a dragon. Broken horn. Bro, this is a dinosaur. Right now. <laughs> What is this Lego ass brick god? Oh, I got hit. I don't know. Oh, my goodness. His hands went to a different dimension. You got blind and avoid that. As the ground beneath your feet crumbles away, you feel a sense of weakness as you fall into the blackness below. Look, he's here. Ah, another new soul has joined this world. But are you sure his fate will be as you described? Of course. My predictions are never wrong. Hey, a visionary. I just don't like that kind of story. Then you need only do as you said, and let him find his own story within your fairy tale. <laughs> You're right. Then listen closely, my child. Your name is... Where the fuck am I? Water? Or the dragon? Man, bro, illusion shattered. It's it's the dragon! The dragon that destroyed the titanium mines! Help! Help! Soldiers! Pick up your weapons! Destroy that monster! Yeah, 
time, bro. Maybe he was friendly. You went deeper into the dream. Second time we got our ass whooped. Even a lying finger on the son of a bitch and he dropped it. How many times am I going to have to save you? How many times you don't Thank act as a hero? Thank you, hat guy. Uh, Paimon still feels dizzy. Um, hey, did any of you also see something strange? It was like we were witnessing... The, the memories. dragon's memories. Sounds like we all saw the same thing just now. I tried its mind scape. Well, we definitely saw a different side to the story. Watching it all unfold, Paimon couldn't help but feel bad for the dragon. This world might be a lot more complicated than we thought. The next time we encounter the dragon, how about we try talking to him instead of fighting? That sounds like a good plan. We didn't have much but of a choice. Maybe we should figure out where we ended up first. Looks well, like a blast us as enter as soon as we enter. Huh. If the world above is a fairy tale realm, then maybe we've fallen into the next page of the book. Uh, just keep walking and don't fall behind. Uh, hey, wait for us! Oh, let's see where we are now. Still trial characters? I don't mind. We got. Worst traveler is Nilu, who on, not on a Denjiro team. Navia, Solo, Gia. Wow, this place looks a lot different from the Dragon Lair. Yeah, we're like in a damn city, bro. Hello? Where the balls are we? Oh, bouncy blocks. Interesting, they give the traveler the symphonic wings from the first concert. You gotta say anything, sir? I think maybe we should be playing this in, bro. Because that's the actual hero. Oops, I hit T. I'm here in trouble. Try this. A brick of C4? That's a hell of an item to give us. I rolled it. Can I here? Drink the strength potion in particular. Are you a potion seller? Yeah, you're fucking huge! Oh, we're gonna come out of this dude big as hell. The wind rises. Hydro actually did. Mm. Sounds like a dragon run. Are you hurt? You look over here. Mm. Where are we? He seems angry. We just want to talk mm. to you. Damn! Joseph Gadardi is not up for a conversation. She's up. Swarm Fury. Mm. How much my conversation is? Mm. 
following me. No, stop. No. Jump over there. Yeah. What's up? Hey. Did you think I got it? Why do this? I wonder if oh, how many people actually were able to make the jump using Skyrim. Thank you. Too slow. I like these like little segment run through like areas. I know the game usually has them. Our home. These it ones was feel destroyed different. by that evil dragon. The, the stars! It flew away with the Metropole stars! Oh no! <laughs> we we, we didn't get eaten groups? by the dragon? They keep the dragon using his voice. just dropped us off here? Hi guy! You're Enjoy. getting too far away! <sighs> He's just up ahead. Is he trying to lure us somewhere? Well, I'd say we were the ones who backed him into a corner. But we just want to ask him a few questions about his past. He's had year after year of people coming here to try to take his head. If you ask me, his reaction is perfectly normal. That's true. He's had a whole lot of Maybe there's still something we can do to calm him down? I wouldn't count on it. Maybe his earlier attacks were just a warning. But now, he's actually getting serious. Prepare for a final battle. Sometimes, it takes a little force for someone to finally wake up. Damn, bro. We're going balls in on this dragon. What about the big red dude? My power is gone. So much for that, but. Oh, I need an eight ship. What's that? Is that what they're supposed to look like? Quit following me. It's cute. Oh, stubborn beast. You really want to get beat up that bad? I'll blow something up. We're not there, Nation Charge. Where'd you go? Too slow. Are we really gonna have to throw a bomb in its mouth? I fucking can't even fucking see it. Holy shit. That's far enough. Let me just wait for it to roar, because, like, I'm saying. That's far enough. The price. Oh, that's insane. You're gonna spawn an infinite amount as I'm trying to fucking get to its mouth. What is that? It's not the open, which I've done multiple times. It's just, I don't know what the angle is, you're just like, oh, this shit. Huh? Hmm. Well, these kids are such a lot of help. He's like double fucking forties. Not <laughs> Camera, uh, I was kind of about to go there, so the camera was stingy. Yeah, this is what I'm talking about. 
they really need to work on that team. Okay, so it's not when we have it, we can jump up onto his head, isn't it? He just will not go. There's no marker to throw in his mouth. Am I missing something somewhere? Also 40k Nibu? Oh god, yeah, you got it. Pick it up and throw it. Mechanic's not told and you're just to figure out, you know, every other mechanic is a click in the entire, every single instance that has ever been in the game, it's been a click. But, Watch out. for the bite, if you, you have fall, to You're on your own this time. Oh, lovely. Yes. Thank you, Nibu, for activating your glider. Let's actually get the full jump this time. Lovely. Talking about spawning on you. What is this? Neon bro? Changing the damn camera? and like withering ways right and giving you utterly dog shit trial again. Just... Usually the trial characters are good to just fun. I guess they uh, learn from the HSR to <laughs> give you the most non-build worst versions of the characters. You get dimensionally hot with this fucking pause. Serious, bro. He figured out the fucking uh, spam combo. All the mouths are just amazing. What are you waiting for? 
fit following me. Lovely. Now's our chance! A bit weird to put Wait. the angle where you can throw the bomb at the spawn point for an infinite number of attacks. Bit of oversight and design, but eh. at least it's at the end. Also an oversight to not even tell us that you could throw it at all. Are we inside the black mist? Great, we're black. And Are start. you sure you want Wait, it's to create Mona's master's this motif. child or Mona's motif. even after what I told you about his no, fate? No. Okay, we're so <sighs> hexen circle ass. He will be abandoned by his creator, and eventually... I know, B. You've told me already. That sad story with the disappointing ending. It's what happened in the real world, isn't it? That's exactly why I want to change things. In a different world, his story can have a happier ending. That child, his heart is so full of love. I understand, Anya. But know that if Anya. you give him Am that Anya. name, his fate in Simulanka is destined to parallel that of his real world namesake. There's still a chance, right? Maybe it's a shot in the dark, but I have to try. He deserves a better life. Although, he might need the help of others when the time comes. All right, my dear. The choice is yours. Since you're so persistent, let me tell you a secret. <sighs> More boring fate talk. <laughs> yeah. Surrogate for the, the illiterate and uh, mentally deficient audience. Mother. I did not hear the word mom. I'm sorry, my child. Unlike my friends, I don't have a long time to live. All said and done, the story of my life will be shorter than the fairy tales in this book. So, uh, so I will have to cool. leave your side, I'm afraid. Mm. Hexenzirkel storybook. Amazon, she was the creator of the fairy tale books. And Bartholomew, whatever the fuck her name is, B. Our visionary. It's okay. Told us nothing else would happen. It's okay. Once I'm gone, I will become a star in Simulanka and watch over you from above. If you ever feel lonely, just look up towards the sky. Uh... <sighs> I'm just gonna cry about it. Go forth and witness this world, my child. Make sure to be nice to everyone. You'll meet good friends one day. I'm sure of it. That is my wish for your future. As for this world, I leave it to you. That one sounds like he's in mom that time. Hmm. So in the end, you're betrayed too. Oh, it is gay ass fucking betrayal, bro. Nigga's gonna bond over mommy hey, issues. Mr. Dragon, he brought you some food. You must be hungry. I hope he befriended a squirrel. Kind of base. Kind of nutty. Shh, quiet! We can't let anyone hear us! Everyone says you're a bad 
dragon. But you're always nice to me when we play together. You always help me pick flowers way up high that I can't reach. I swear, this squirrel dies. It's going, she's like, so you were betrayed again also. Like, you're, I swear. It's okay. Just keep hiding here. And tomorrow, I'll... Oh no, my child! Help! Somebody help me! Save my child! The dragon's trying to kidnap her! No, Mom! It's not like that! Listen to me! <sighs> so you're hated by people too. Your choice to be hated, nigga. No one was like, you're a monster. Bro. Hey, it's like the Mona Star. It's like the last this summer event. That last one, the one before the last one. So that's it. That's really your wish? To never have been born at all? That's not a fate you should wish for. This nigga's a one to what? Nobody can define who you are. Or deny the true feelings of your heart. Now remember your name. Durin. Thank God, Sexocato saved us. That was a close call. Are you guys all right? Bro, just try to forget that we can use animal abilities, geo abilities, hydro, fire, electro, anything, super dash, any of those shit. Back in Constellation okay. Metropole, I heard people saying you'd gone to fight the dragon, so I followed you here. Right when I managed to catch up, I saw you fall through that hole. Wait, didn't someone else fall through just now? Shouldn't we do something? Nah, he can fly. He was going oh, yeah, ban for ban with the dragon. Guy. Well, he can fly, so he'll probably be fine. He called the dragon something earlier. It sounded like he said... Durin. That's his name. Oh, hat guy. You're okay. Wait. What about the dragon... Durin? He's fine. Oh, Durin. he's Durin. Named after the Wait, fucking that's the dragon name of the spine. dragon from Dragonspine, right? The one that became a part of the mountain after being slain by Dvalin? If Paimon remembers correctly, it was created by... Yeah, it's like the one that was slain by Dvalin. He's also the one that put Venti in fucking sleep for 500 years because of his poisoned blood. Yeah, gold made Durin. And he got fucking folded. So I wonder. Interesting. Creatures? So even in a fairy tale, it's, uh, it share the same fate as the real world creature. But why would... M want to recreate one of Rhine Daughter's creations. Right! It was created by Rhine Daughter! <sighs> created, you say? <sighs> yeah, you're one to one, bitch. So, what exactly happened down there? You've been acting weird ever since the end of the fight. <sighs> so, that's the truth about Simulanka's evil dragon. What we saw in the mist weren't hallucinations, but the dragon's memories. Yeah, no shit. Really? You thought it was hallucinations? Huh. I thought it was strange. The people around the Broken Sea are clearly stranded. 
But I never heard any stories about the dragon attacking the village. The people we met along the way are probably workers from the Titania mines, or guards who came here to claim the dragon's head. Durin probably allowed them to live here because there was nowhere else for them to go. When I first came to this world, a voice spoke to me and said, You are the hero of this world. Now go forth and save the dragon. Huh. Who is the person behind this voice anyway? And why did they bring us all here? Come with me. We'll find the out. answer to all this can be found below. We taking a leap of faith into that big ass portal? Okay. She whipped my mood right out of my trial. Is this a study? That's right. It belongs to the goddess of fate. Goddess of fate? As in one of the three goddesses who created Simulanka? Or more precisely, M. One of the mages of the Hexen Circle. Circle? As in... Sorry, Paimon shouldn't just regurgitate everything you say, it's just... It's a lot to take in! She created the story of Durin. Well, the Simulanka version, at least. These records should cover most of what you want to know, including the identities of the other two goddesses. Read them for yourselves. Oh, the actual fairy book that she... Two goddesses. So, what the hexes are going fucking up for Older. By all rights, I should have been A, since A is the first and last letter of my name. Get fucked. But Alice overruled me on the basis of seniority and said I should be M instead because of my middle name. <laughs> she really knows how to push my buttons. Still, her magic never fails to amaze me. I still can't believe she got one of my origami frogs to start talking. Hmm. Why don't I write a story with origami animals as the main characters? Let's see. Once upon a time, in a magical forest, there lived a group of animals made of paper. Barbie loves looking into the future, so she used her powers to map out the fates of all living things in Simulanka. But knowing the ending in advance takes all the fun out of the story. I think I'll make a bet with her. I believe that one day, the people of Simulanka will decide to carve their own destiny. Oh, apparently, she wants to build a statue of herself in the capital city. <laughs> Always looking to add some pizzazz. Anything else in this god for sure? Yellow, but what's that? Fuck it. It's on the wall, but my no. dear sister, now you're old now. There, you're I question. fear my pen shall soon run dry. Even now, as I write this letter to you, my dexterity is all but failing me. Thank you for enjoying my stories and for creating this world for me. The time we spent together was the most wonderful youth I could have asked for. <laughs> I always feel so young when we're together. A says that even after I'm gone, the goddess of fate in Simulanka will continue to exist and carry on granting people's wishes it makes me glad. If you ever want to chat, feel free to pay a visit to the goddess statue. Just don't wish for anything weird. <laughs> don't wish for anything weird. It's Simulanka Duran, and he's looking up at something. 
A star? His dead mother. This must have been after M passed away. This looks like... a mine. Maybe... the Titania miners dug too deep? So deep that they dug right through to the world on the next page. Yeah. You managed that. And now that you mention it, this miner's lamp looks really similar to the star on the previous page. So their miner's lamp is what he saw as the star, the new star, so what he assumed his mother was dead? Because he saw the new star in the sky? And they dug deep it up? They quite literally dug too deep into the world? And changed fate? Blessings. This book has been recording Simulanka's history all along. Look at the size of those footprints. If that's every time he lands, then no wonder people are so terrified of him. So that's why you took the stars. Because you missed your mom. Looks different from the one in the metropole. Yeah, that's why I heard the end it's of her life. It's a different goddess. This one is the goddess of fate. Mm. Interesting. Where's our ship buried 4,000 feet down here? <sighs> it's all right now, Durin. Nobody here wants to hurt you. Don't say that, Durin! Paimo made a mistake. She was wrong about you. But it's nice to talk, isn't it? Now that we've all calmed down? <laughs> So that's why you made that wish? <sighs> so stupid. Hey! No, he's right. Anyone Call with up. eyes can see that all you want to do is get along with everyone. <sighs> if you spoke English, bro, you might not be able to talk to these damn people. You just want to make friends, people to play with. To talk to people who accept you, or at least accept your apology. Oh, you've never hurt anyone. Heck, the idea never even crossed your mind. Sure, you scared a bunch of people half to death, but that's only because they had no idea what kind of dragon you really are. Yeah. If you had a heart-to-heart -heart with them, I'm sure they'd come to understand you and see your point of view. How can you not coexist? Hmm. The curse. The Valen huh? coexist pretty easy. Milu! Is it your true wish to live side by side with the people of Simulanka? Well, shit, but we answer the question. <laughs> then we'll make it happen. Then close your eyes. And make a wish to the goddess of fate. We will help make your wish come true. Just trust me. Blessing and welcome you as a dweller of the forest. She's 
should I give him life? And everyone accept you as one of our own. And may the Forest of Blessings be a place you can call home. I, no Navia, King of Constellation Metropole, give you my blessing. Should have put the crown on I it. grant you citizenship to my kingdom. Oh, me too. As the, uh, Nekomata in Boots of this World, I give you my blessing too. Wait, what's going on? What do you mean? This must be the magic power of words. I've talked about the power of words in this game before. That's why the traveler hides their name. Because, uh, once again, your name binds you to fame. <sighs> We've discussed this long, long time ago. About the power I, of words. I, the hero of this world, give you my blessing. I recognize you as a resident of Simulanka. May you find acceptance in this world. Also, speaking as someone who'd like to be your friend... I wish you all the best for the future. I, a traveler who has traversed many worlds, give to you my blessing. May you find friendship and goodwill, no matter where you go. They can actually talk every once in a while. As for this world, I leave it to you. Huh? What? Why are you all staring at me? Huh? How was that? My. My claws? Are these my claws? And my wings? Oh, my tail? Does this mean? Oh, wow, you look so cute. Quite what a radical transformation. Is this Digimon ass looking uh, creature. Not that there was anything wrong with the way you looked before, of course. It's just. Well, he's gonna grow into that uh, big ass fucking drug. You get what I mean. How do you feel? Are you happy with your new appearance? Big ass head creature. Does though. anyone have a flower with them? Or even just some water or paper from this world? Interesting. He's oh, not even a dragon. He's a, Here you he's go. a worm because he doesn't have hands. Wyvern. I don't say worm. They're, they're not changing. I can touch things without changing them. Hey, that's great. One more flying friend for Paimon. Now the residents of Simulanka won't be scared of you anymore. Hmm. But what about all the things that I did before? No one will remember. That's simple. Just go out there and atone. You could fill in the footprints you left on the ground. Or help the people around the broken sea get home. Okay. We could do that, bro. And you'll come along and help me, right, Pat Guy? Huh? Why would I do that? Uh... Because you said you wanted to be my friend. You little... Gah. Well, maybe I spoke too soon. Damn, bro. Scar, we <gasps> saved the day and now has a child. I thought... How do you end up with a child, bro? Come on, nigga. All right, fine. I'll go with you. Are you going to be trapped in this damn simulacrum, bro? Really? Yes, really. Lying to you would be no fun anyway. Oh, and you're thank a child. You. You're the first friend to call me by my name. Literally. Mm. You say. But you still have the name of the Let's damn go back up. demon on the surface. I'm about to suffocate down here. Oh, it feels so good to finally see Hat Guy meet his match. <laughs> children. Children are saying the same fate as him. Yeah, okay. Pima just never thought we'd see the day. That's all. All right. Let's also head back up then. Uh, don't be time. scared, Durin. We'll be right by your side. Oh. Mm -hmm. Thank you for your blessings, everyone. Oh, this is the happiest day I've had in a really long time.
Ta-da! Surprise, everyone! Ah! Attacking Street Lamp! <laughs> street Lamp? Oh, my. You mean you still don't remember me after all the times we've spoken? That's interesting. What triggered Alice's lamp to light? I know that voice. It's Mom's friend! You just got to keep on your memories. You know, you're reborn. So he's going to turn into, like, the giant fucking... Because Durin is huge. She, like, his spine covers like, nearly all of Dragon's spine. Literally, it's fucking named. Like, he's massive. So is this thing going to turn into, like, a fucking continent-sized dragon? Or mountain-sized dragon? Hello there, traveler and friends. And Durin, it's good to see you. You've changed quite a lot. In fact, you look so different that perhaps I should call you Mini Durin. <laughs> Mini Durin, huh? Yeah, I like the sound of that. It's nice being smaller. You must be one of the three goddesses of this world. Are you the goddess of creation? <sighs> yep, that's, that's right. right. Isn't really but although in the story it's anyway. the most impressive sounding of the three, to be honest, we all made an equal contribution toward the founding of this world. If you've ever read any of M's stories, you'll know just how enchanting the worlds are that she writes about. So enchanting that I just had to step inside and explore it for real. So I got B involved, and with M's consent, created okay. the world of Simulanga. I, I was about to say, are all whoa, her worlds whoa, like whoa. that? You're getting a little ahead of yourself. First things first. Would you mind explaining what you're doing here? In fact, no. What are we even doing here? Interesting. So, M wrote the story. Obviously, this was a storybook about a dragon heroes going to defeat the dragon and saving them. And then it was created. Interesting. So it was already laid out. <laughs> Don't worry. All will be revealed. After everything you accomplished on your journey, you are free to ask me anything you want. Hmm. Let's start with your first question, then. I'm here because I sensed a great magic power emanating from the book just now, and I couldn't resist the urge to peek inside and check it out. You have the book? That must have been when we all gave Minnie Durin our blessings, right? Didn't we find the book in a bazaar or didn't you? Yes, so exactly. We... In the world of fairy tales, words and emotions often carry far more power than any spell. It's all thanks to your magic that Minnie Durin was able to take this form. Come say hi to me, little one. Oh, look at you. You're as cute as a button. So, what about us? Yeah, how do we Was get it here? always part of the plan that we'd come here? Uh, plan isn't the word I'd use. If you ask me, I'd say Damn, base in the fate song. works in mysterious ways. When Durin of Simulanka made his wish to the goddess of fate, it just so happened that in a world far away, all of you wonderful people were holding a copy of M's fairy tale at that exact moment. Not and because of your dink. noble and kind souls, you were selected by the goddess of fate to come and save this world. Now that you mention it, that's what I was doing when I was transported here. I was reading a fairy tale to some children in the Fluvsandra. So you just disappeared in front I of those kids? I think I just, uh, happened upon an old book and decided to use it as my pillow during a nap in a box. <laughs> All right. Wow, what a crazy coincidence. I guess we were reading the Paimon. Wait, that's not right. How come everyone else got assigned to roll except us? Because we were also... I swear to God, yeah, they say we're the observer. that was it. We just received strange book and we had no idea who sent it. Then, the moment we opened it up to start reading it, we found ourselves here. You're the one who sent it to us, aren't you? Oh, is that what happened? <laughs> yes, that does sound like me, doesn't it? Bitch, why did you send us here then? Hmm, good question. Why indeed? Maybe I thought this was such a good story, it simply had to be read by someone. As the traveler and witness of many worlds, how could I let such a beautiful place pass you by? I, I say can that. sense that your blessing for Minnie Durin was a very special one. With this blessing from beyond the story, he might even be able to explore worlds outside of this one. Are you saying we purified him? You mean? That's right. In fact, back when we were first creating Simulanka. M told us that she hoped the people of this world would one day be able to explore the wider world beyond. 
Every story has an ending, but if the story becomes reality, it should have the right to choose its own path. Wasn't it prophesized all have be stuck anyways in, in the words, same fate? The predestined lives these people lead were always going to disappear one Which way or another. Archon killing. Wait, so even if the people here get to go to other worlds, surviving. surely there's gotta be a way we can leave too, right? Leyline corrupted dragon, isn't it? <laughs> Don't you realize you've been able to leave all along? Huh? You can either take the boat at the Broken Sea or touch the giant bookmark at the Cliff of Prophecy. All you need to do if you want to leave is focus on the place you want to go. How were we supposed to know that if you never told us? Huh, didn't I? <laughs> well, given how smart and capable you are, surely it can't have posed a huge problem for you. As for your other friends who you are summoned here, for eternity. if I had to guess, I'd say the Goddess of Fate probably didn't tell them about it because she wanted them to get engrossed in the story. She's M's reflection after all. It wouldn't surprise me if she shares M's love for cliffhangers. Anyway, I think that answers your questions, yes? What do you all plan to do next? Leave. I... I'm gonna go say sorry to the people of this world. After that... I want to start protecting Simulanka, just like Mom told me to. Mm. Now we know how easy it is to get back home, Paimon's suddenly not in such a hurry to leave. Lovely. Same here. It's not every day that you get to come to such a magical world. I, for one, plan to explore it a little longer. <laughs> I'm glad to hear it. Maybe I should invite some other friends to join you too. By the way, Mini Durin, I'm delighted to see you've made some new friends. I'm sure Em would be very proud of you. Now, before I depart, please let me give you a blessing as well. May your future be as rich and colorful as the stories Em used to tell. <sighs> She's gone. Just like that. Guess this is where the hero's journey comes to an end, huh? We weren't the hero anyways. Ah, but it's also where a new journey begins. The adventures of Minnie Durin and friends. Huh? An adventure for me? Yeah, you little Digimon. You bet. For starters, I'd love to introduce you to my other friends in the forest. Even though there have been some misunderstandings in the past, I'm sure they'll welcome the new you with open arms. Hmm? Huh? Yes, we'll go with you. Ugh, stop looking at me. I already said I'll come with you. Whoa! Look over there! What is that? Wow! The stars are beautiful. Huh. I'll bet that's a gift to Minnie Durin from the three goddesses of this world. Oh. It's fate split Thank open. Thank you, somewhere. Mom. Jesus. Ah, the book. Uh, is that us getting <laughs> to develop them? After two days later, huh? Well, this is certainly something. That's an ass load of lore. Oh, it just dropped on us. Especially concerning fates and names and words of power. We have been hinted at words of power before, but they never like directly addressed words of power. So I'm glad that they did. Makes me wonder though how fate works and how words of power work. Yeah, the world, I was right, the world's not super huge here. But yeah. Interesting. So we're gonna have Wanderer with his mini dragon now. That shares the same fate as him. Is that a preview for how dragons look? Are gonna look at Notlet? Hey, that's also another thing. What the actual preview for Notlet is. Is it fate? Words of power? Changing one's destiny? Reclaiming your past? Like, what, what, what exactly? 
These aren't gonna be our like our what in here is our not live baby. I wonder. I'm gonna go with words of power and like a fate alliance. Or is oh I thought you had to stack these. That makes more sense. Okay. No. Anyways. Oh, that's Don't let any of it roll away now. <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure. Well, we haven't finished it yet. Oh, no. we still got the last minute. I'm trying to think, like, trying to start, you know, spin my wheels in my head. <laughs> what exactly is our next? How this ties in the not one. Because let's, let's, let's go. Summer Event 1 had the Mangu Kenki and. <laughs> And it had, like, I don't really know, I didn't do some Event Run. I wasn't there. I didn't play the game at one point. That's not content I so. Oh, I know it had Manga Kanki. That was high end to Inazuma. The Summer Event 2 was about dreams. And it had the idea of being in a dream dimension. And going through the dream world. And alternate reality. And it had Nahida <laughs> talking to us. And how she was like, wow, you could ask Kenki for help. Don't you want to figure out the mystery yourself? Yep. That was, uh, no. But we did it anyways. <laughs> the idea of being trapped in a dream world. It was the idea of being trapped. That's what got us. But it wasn't even, it wasn't only that. It was the idea of being trapped and not being able to change someone's fate. <laughs> Because they tied into because they tied into the after chapter of uh, Garamouche. where it, you have Shin Yan's part of hers. You had like Kazuma's part of the story where you got to see his fate directly and see how he couldn't change events no matter what he could do. He wasn't in time, and him running through the story it just he accepted. Shin Yan and, and like fucking Kazuma was like, accepting their fate. <laughs> Vivian didn't change who she was just because people, like, the circumstances that happened to her, she was always going to be herself, no matter what, because that's who she is. Kazuha couldn't save his friend with while was suffering, he was able to, like, live with the past, reconcile with the past and move on, even though it's a tragic event. Mona's story was about the idea of fate and the fact that you can't change fate, you can't save everyone, and the stuff that people have is set in stone. And then Fish also is about, once again, accepting yourself and finding out who you really are. And like, realize, realizing, like, actualizing what you want to be. And then tie all that in because... Tie all that in with the fact that we're in a dream world, which is an idea of, like, the power that, uh, Nahida has in the Dendro Archon. And the overarching idea of fate itself not being changed. <laughs> Which is very common, as we know, in a, a lot of the stories this game has with fate. So I'm wondering, what's the overarching story here? Because obviously, the dragon, fairy now. tale, yep. words of power. Kingdom of different sections coming together for like a dragon threat. Like, you know, like it's got like the hints of what we're supposed to know Notlin is. Like it's Dragon Land. Here you Bruce. Are. I know I know what Kirara's quest is, even though we haven't done it, or you guys haven't seen me do it. It's gonna come out after this. It's about uniting the tribes and 
getting the colors together. <laughs> or uniting the groups and getting like all the colors together. <laughs> Which I'm guessing is gonna tie into not a bit of it. Other than that, I'm trying to think. Like, what the, what the big overarching narrative is. I'm gonna save that, like, big like discussion. I mean, this discussion is already huge in there, so. Here you go. But, like, the most discussion we have here. <laughs> I save it for when we're at the end of the quest, because clearly there's two days later, and there's another. Like, good luck. I haven't gotten the full story. I can't. We still got three more quests of what's going on. I think. What what am I missing? Like going through. I feel like words of power are, are, are what it is. I really do feel like that's like the big thing. That like is a little subtext that comes through like names and the idea of fate being tied and not being changed. Or being co-signed to a fate by taking a name. chapter is called multi rebirth or whatever the fuck it is like so the idea of i can imagine that idea of killing someone or killing something or an idea and rebirthing it by taking its place and taking its name Ooh, they could do a lot with that they could tie into how visions work and the idea of how someone is able to take someone else's vision I can see that. So her statue's out here. Right, this is the spot. If you want to pull for a character, this is how you do it. Make a wish. Guys, we gotta make a wish. I wish I could get Nilu's weapon, bro. In one pull. No, I didn't make it clear. I wish I could need this weapon in one pull because... I wish I could need this weapon in one pull because I want to use her as a character and actually have her with a super HP build and use her on field. Boom, there you go. And that's why you don't believe in fate. But... This music. There's a tail in this below. This is a hell of a theme. Is the design of it supposed to be like a V, like a book opening and light coming out of a book? Like the story pages? That's the summer, okay. This is where uh, number two. Interesting. 
and our ship. Now, how was that in this world? This fairy tale world has items from our other summer adventures. Huh. Interesting. The clockwork. Dreams are ancient capital. A book about a young woman named Lycia who sets out on a journey alone, following the rumored ruination of her homeland at the hands of a black dragon. Hey yo? We talking about Conria? Destroyed by the dragon? Joining she now a former guard of the kingdom, and now errant warrior, and sought his guidance, the art of swordsmanship, but the guard had long since given up hope, and had, lo had both lost the will to wield the sword and the courage to swing it. I could not fill a bottle with hope and give it to you, said Lysia, but I do remember a song from my child, and it sings of how the spring is, is as fleeting as a shooting star, and it taught me to cherish every flower still in blossom about my feet. You may not you need not master the way of the sword, said the guard. I can see in your eyes that you are in possession of something even more powerful. After continuing her way once more, following the guidance of the elders, I see it entered the dense forest and we came before a wise owl, keeper of the keys to the kingdom of dreams. The owl's daughter, rolling forth like a surrounding mist, enveloped her from all sides. Do you know what it means to retreat in the face of adversity? As long as my laces still walk, I will keep moving forward. Do you fear the thought of death knocking at your door? I will fight it right up until the final moment arrives. One last question. Can you swear to set your heart on revenge? This is sounding like our sibling. Like our sibling going to Conria, meeting Dainsleth, going to the forest, meeting uh, Clothair, seeing his son turned into mist. This is sounding very similar. Having obtained a key, I see open the door to the kingdom of dreams, where she was across the river of stars and, at, and ascended an inky, ink black stairway, and during many hardships, finally, she confessed the reason for coming before the goddess of dreams, and in exchange for a lock of her golden hair, learned the magic of luring someone into a dream. Then she declared the world should take revenge upon the black dragon. In the beginning, the black dragon knew only black and white, but under the magical spell, it dreamed of a thousand and one different worlds each far more vibrant and vivid than, the, than the fire and brimstone. If worlds like these will strike your fancy as well, said Lycia, I will turn back the dial of the night sky, reversing all the stars in their course, returning things to the day before you arrive to my hometown. After the story's end, Lycia awoke from the previous night's dream to familiar sights for her hometown outside her window, the birds singing and the flowers in bloom, and the, all was at peace. For the little door to the wooden cabin, there came a gentle knocking, opening the door, and Lycia beheld a black-haired str stranger standing outside. I cannot distinguish the color of your hair, the man said, but I suppose it must be golden, just like the color of the stars in my dream. Now the back of the book. You really like stories about dragons, don't you? That's, uh, this is like a straight up things that are to come. It's not like the Luma Fate. Open the king, so she opened the king keys to the kingdom. Blah, 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 hardship. So that she went to the abyss, but the the goddess of dream. In exchange for a lock of her golden hair, she learned the magic of luring someone into a dream. Interesting. So she tricks the dragon, into, or she allows the dragon to see a dream of better worlds, and it'll change it to reverse his time. That's, uh... I mean, that sounds like a fucking hell of a... Just two things. Incomplete manuscript. Matthew's filled with precious treasures started joining together in long snakes. Jesus, but there was a, a little white stoat, a little white mouse, perhaps, who lived in this prosperous and tranquil town. All her friends and neighbors called her Snowflake. Snowflake had a cure of white, pure white fur, as white as the never melting snow on top of a mountain peak, without a single blemish to be seen. Her eyes sparkled with the silent brilliance of night. Her voice was bright and clear, as if a pair of invisible hands were playing upon fine instruments, or as though someone was pouring a pale golden wine into a glass. 
All the townspeople wish to see her every day, and even if just to say hello, but overwhelmed by the people's adulation and bedazzled by the shining jewels, Snowflake forgot herself, even abandoning her own original name. What about my greeting gifts? And Miss Snowflake, too lazy to open the door fully, with a knot but the ruby bracelet on her slender wrist, shining brightly through the crack. Uh, a troubled look came over her visitor's face. With a bang, the door was shut once more. The pure, noble, and highly revered Miss Snowflake returned to her dressing table to await the coming of the next sincere admirer. Her dream was to find herself the perfect husband, but clearly only someone who possessed was... Where have we heard this story before? We've heard this, right? Where the woman was loved by everyone in the town? She was so loved, but something... She was... Right, it's the story where she was blessed. And she was blessed that everyone would love her and she would never face a hardship. But the person took back the uh, blessing and eventually they all resented her because she was so great. Is this from her perspective? The snowflake is too late to open the foot, not with a ruby brace on her but my mom. Live view, Holly reviewed, still return to her table, come to the next sincere admirer. Her dream was to find herself a perfect husband. Clearly, only someone who possessed the most precious treasure in the world could be deserving of her divine hand of magic. Wow, I read that completely wrong. Could be deserving of her hand in marriage. That day, a certain wandering Mr. Cat paid a visit to the town. He came from a faraway kingdom in the north, and wore a coat of thick, well groomed fur, and perhaps you might even say over groomed. In fact, if you got close, you can even smell where he had eaten for his last meal. The cat is currently sitting on the top of I me, mean, looking at itself. It's already fish smell. There was a wisdom in the emerald green eyes. I was beyond anything the common folk could hope to attain. The kind-hearted townspeople welcomed the traveler warmly. And within the time it took him to drink three cups of ale, he had already heard about all the town's noteworthy goings-on, and no less than five different weather forecasts for the following day. All among the news... What was most interested in him was relating to Snowflake. Where might I meet this beautiful lady? Ah, uh, if I was you, I wouldn't bother. And why is that? This Snowflake has a penchant for rare treasures. Over the past two years, she has become more and more ridiculous. Unless you are in possession of vast wealth already, you may as well give up on the idea sooner rather than later. For your own good. Hearing that, Mr. Cat's green eyes twinkle. Knock, knock. Mr. Cat knocked on Snowflake's door. To him, her house seemed a little well, on the small side. My greeting gift? A pair of Lissa's eyes looked out and Mr. Cat threw a crack on the door. Of course, I have prepared the most magnificent gift for the esteemed of a snowflake, which I trust will only make you more beautiful than you already are. A necklace inlaid with a, an agate. Agate. I can't, remember how, I can't remember how to say that stone. The north. Pearls from the southern seas. Amber from the west. It is my clan's greatest treasure. Trusted by my elders. I have traveled the world in search of the most beautiful and noble person to visit to do. It is a great honor to meet you, Miss Snowflake. I believe that you must be the one I seek. Please, accept my gift. A flash of dazzling color shined out from the crack in the door as the reflections of the opulent necklace sprinkled in Miss Snowflake's eyes. Not bad, not bad. Just about up to my standards, Miss Snowflake said proudly. After meeting you, I cannot convince that all jewelry will pale in comparison with your unparalleled beauty, but please, allow me to help you put it on. Mr. Cat bowed sincerely and took a step inside, nearly getting stuck in the cracked open door as he did so. I have now performed a ceremony of blessing and prayer of honor, and his gift may still shine as brightly as the moonlight once I am gone. Please, go ahead. Intoxicated by his praise, Miss Snowflake exposed her flawless alabaster neck. And from that day forth, no one ever saw Miss Snowflake again. And some say she had grown tired of the mundanity of life in the town, and set out an on a journey to find treasure alone, whereas other were convinced that she had finally found the husband she's been waiting for, living happily ever after with that Mr. Cat from afar. For someone passing, Mr. Cat had let, for someone passing, Mr. Cat as he left the town caught a whiff of Miss Snowflake's delicate perfume on his fur coat. Interesting. So he fucking killed her. I wonder. Now, what was the message of that story? An incomplete man. Also, I wonder what the significance of this place is. Is the fact that it holds items that are from our other islands. Like, 
How is that possible? Unless someone wants to come here after us, after our adventures. Questions for later, I guess. But for now, I did you adieu. We'll be doing the next parts very soon.